1782, in one of the last battles of the American Revolutionary War, a force of about 50 loyalists and 300 Native American warriors ambushes and defeats a group of 182 Kentucky militiamen, partially led by famous frontiersman Daniel Boone, in the Battle of Blue Licks. Even though British General Charles Cornwallis had surrendered at Yorktown ten months earlier, effectively ending the war, fighting continues, especially on the frontier. The Battle of Blue Licks is fought on a hill next to the Licking River. The area is named for the many saltwater springs that have attracted animals to its salt licks since prehistoric times. The saline springs are also used by settlers in the 18th century as a source of salt. In the battle, the Patriots suffer 72 killed and 11 captured, while the Loyalists and Indians suffer only 7 killed and 10 wounded. Although the battle does not alter the outcome of the Revolutionary War, it has a lasting impact on the region's history and its perception of the conflict. The defeat at Blue Licks is a severe blow to Patriot morale in the area, and highlights the ongoing threats faced by settlers on the frontier. A monument is built in 1960 near the Graves of the Dead. It stands today in Blue Licks Battlefield State Resort Park. Blue Licks is one of the last battles on the frontier before the Treaty of Paris officially ends the Revolutionary War, just over a year later, on September 3, 1783.